Welcome back. Today we have um, a system design video. I guess it's been a very long time since I made um, a system design video. And I'll try to not to do this again. I'll try to not to make it too long to make another system design video. But the problem that the system design videos takes a lot of efforts and a lot of studying to just make sure that I am putting the right content for you guys. And however, I'll try to make two videos of design uh, system design videos a week one on saturday and another one on sunday and i hope that i will continue doing this so i will be better actually and you will understand also you you find the content when i will be better the content will be more high quality so it will be better for you so <clears throat> today we have this one we have to design a notification system and um I'm saying all the time, but it's needed. Like I, I have always to say in a way, it's that in 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 the system design interview, you find that all the questions are pretty vague and open ended and uh, ambiguous, basically. And our own um, our own duty or our own responsibility as an interviewee is to ask question to clarify to clarify the uh, requirements so um and and also to communicate all the time with the interviewer so let's just start we have a design system interview uh, a design notification system so first of all i like to put our platform our our framework that we are going to use um let's make this quite smaller oh, bigger okay so first of all we have um we we ask for clarification question clarification uh, questions we understand the problem understand the problem and in this one we try to ask for clarification questions uh, second we let's talk that we start easy so basically we propose a high level design a high level design Uh, pro uh, sorry it's all not you propose high level design and a third it will be that we go like deep dive maybe we'll talk about some initial component and improve the basically the overall high level design that we have put and after that we have a wrap up and wrap up also we can just talk about improvements okay so these are the framework Th this is the framework that we are going to use let's just make it with different color uh, let's make it white so first of all let's just start with understanding the problem because in my opinion this is the most important part the most important section is understand the problem because if you did this right I, I we could we, I guess that we have a high chance of do the other steps right if you just did this step wrong it's 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 the end for you in the in the interview so let's just start into into just think about how we can do it so let's just create this square and let's yeah let's make it white yep and make it big can we make it bigger yeah we can make it big so let's have a text and put here no no be smaller yeah so in this question oh sorry the clarification questions we want to ask about from five to eight to nine questions from five to ten questions okay um in the questions that we want to know some things first of all what 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 we are designing okay this is this first let's just make this one like that um can we make this bigger for us yeah thank you the second we should know what are what we are designing i guess what are we designing 
what are the um, um, the users that we're using what are the platforms that, um, let's say what are the um, yeah the devices devices that we are supporting and we want to know also I guess we want to know um, um, how the uh, system function uh, what is the functionality of the system and this will take a lot of, a lot of questions and the other one how scale or big is the system how scale is the system so basically you have these four questions and we ask them in different forms so in the first one i just want to ask about basically what we are designing if i don't know what is a notification system is I I'll just say and actually don't 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 feel embarrassed by saying that I just I don't know what is a, I have like for example I maybe will have a good um a system for that interview like just like design twitch I have never used twitch I don't know what is twitch yet. so I'll just what are we designing what is twitch so basically I will say what 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 is the system what is the notification system what we are using notification for so maybe like the, the the interviewee will say that okay building a scalable system um, that sends out millions of notifications a day uh, uh, is basically important for 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 the users to use any application so basically notifications <coughs> you can think about notifications is maybe like uh, if you have um, uh, maybe a facebook account or whatsapp or whatever it is notifications it's um you can think about it's a message on your um um by email maybe by sms maybe on your f or phone layout as a notification that tells you what's going on so this is what we are we are designing we are designing a notification system so if you don't know the notification system now you know of course most of you know what is a notification system if you have mobile if you have if you do anything because actually it's um, um uh, basically the um the notification uh, system basically is uh, indispensable when it comes to in, in in any parts of the software any part any software product needs a notification system so you of course you have been touched with the notification system before so the second question is what are the devices that we are supporting or for example let's just make it more more um uh, more clear do we support whatsapp and uh, do we support desktop and mobile in this time because also we talk about an uh, um, notification we will just divide the mobile into ios and android so the question maybe i will say okay what type of devices that we are supporting and i guess the question will be that we are supporting ios android and laptop so okay so right now i know what we are supporting and i know what is a system i just want to know how the func the system function what is the functionality and this is one of the trickiest questions to to ask because basically this question if you want to ask you have i guess you have asked four to five questions to make sure that you get the functionality right so for example maybe i will just say um first of all what type of notifications that the system support so the notification will be maybe we have basically in the notifications we have three types we have the push notifications that you you receive in your email or in your phone basically if your phone unlocked or maybe you're you're actually on even it's not unlocked and you find ju just a pop-up that said that f uh, someone liked your content that means this is a push notification we have sms messages and we have email um uh, sms messages that you can find actually you, you i guess it's the most uncommon like i uh, maybe you don't receive that much sms messages but i guess email also you receive them but it's the uh, most of them is the push notifications so the second question that we can ask about the functionality is that um what triggers the notifications how the notifications are actually being triggered so we can say the notifications can be triggered by um, client application they can also be scheduled on the server side so it's both way like can be triggered in in in, 
in the client or also can be triggered uh, server side. So it goes both ways. Will so basically, I'll okay, that will users make be um, be able to make uh, out uh, uh, opt out, um, and basically you, this would be say also yes because it's a requirement so a notification. Users who choose to um, uh, opt out or opt out will no longer receive any notifications. So right now, I guess we have three questions that we ask about the functionality. I guess the last one is how skilled is the system? And this is a, a question that you will ask all the time. How, how many notifications are sent each day? So we take that we have 10 million push notifications, 1 million SMS, and uh, 5 million emails and 10 million uh, push notifications. We have 10 million push notifications, 1 million SMS, and 5 million emails. And um, also you can ask how many daily active users we have, but in the, in terms of the, the notification system, I guess you just uh, need to ask about the notification. So let's just put what we understand from the requirements here in, in, in oh, let's just, Oh, okay. Why the, I don't want to be, uh, okay, be white, please. So let's talk about the requirements. So um, first of all, let's just make a list. The first of all that we have uh, the push notification and we have push, let's call it N push in and um, SMS um, in and email in, okay? Let's just put this like this. And uh, let's just scroll into it. So yeah, we we'll see it better. And let's continue. And I would say also I have, um, yeah, yeah, also this is an important question that I have, to, I forgot to say in the, and how the system works actually the functionality is that i would say that is it a real-time system like do you expect that the notification will be sent immediately so but let's say and the, the question will be um uh, let us say it is a soft real-time system basically we want a user to receive a notification as soon as possible however if the system is under a high load uh, a slightly delay is acceptable this is a this is a crucial uh um, question to ask it's a really important question so we we um we have um maybe we have a uh, uh, soft real uh, time system also i guess we have um device the device we have ios android and uh, also uh, uh, desktop or maybe um, laptop, iOS or oh, iOS, not OIS. Sorry, and maybe you can talk about the other requirement is that we need to, um, uh, we need the, our data to be reliable. We don't need any 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 loss. We can't afford any loss in the notification. Um, I guess I I typed reliable wrong. How I type reliable right? In a minute, Re reliable. I guess there is. I'm missing. Um, yeah, I am missing a right. Yeah. Also, I would say um, um, we have uh, uh, ten million less than ten m um, uh, push notification and one. 1m sms and we can say we have another um five um five m uh, emails okay and let just let's just uh, make this like that and uh, maybe i would say um uh, users can choose not to receive also this is uh, we can say that and um, 
I guess, yeah. I guess, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. We have six requirements. That's it. And it's important to you to ask to your interviewer, is it good? Is this, I'm, I'm missing something because maybe we have something that we are missing. Maybe our interviewer needs us to, 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 to add more functionality, more components. So if that goods, it will continue. And it's important for every five minutes, ask for clarification. It is good. Does this sound good? It is good. Does this sound good? To make sure that you are not uh, uh, designing something different. Okay. So uh, first, we finished the first uh, uh, the first um, step, which is to understand the problem. And um, I guess that I will the thing that I will try to do is that I will break the video into four videos. So each video will take us is a specific step. So right now we finished understanding the problem and I guess in the next video I will talk about how to propose the high level design. So yeah, so that's it for this video and see you in the second version or the second part of our own videos on, on, on system on, or designing a notification system. So that's it for this video and see you in future problems. <laughs>